Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net and we've made it back from CES 2016. If you're curious what's coming out this year or what is already out from the world's biggest consumer electronics trade show, do check out the channel or website for more information on that. Today we have a quick news item from Intel. So this is actually a rumor, but it's a somewhat backed rumor. We do think that there's some possibility that this is all true. The new Intel Xeon chips are currently known to be on Broadwell EP. That is not rumored. The rumor is that the E5 2602 V4, that's a quad core Xeon chip on Broadwell EP silicon, is looking at the possibility of shipping 5.1 gigahertz stock. So that is a very high frequency and sort of reminds me of the days where there were frequency races and battles between AMD and Intel. There's not been a chip shipping quite this high frequency from Intel in a long time. So if the rumor is true, it would be very interesting to give you all an idea of what Xeon is. If you don't know what Xeon is, it is a workstation or sometimes server targeted alternative to what we see in the gaming market. That would be the i7s, the i5s, the K-SKU CPUs that are often unlocked for overclocking. Xeon takes a very similar and sometimes same, but normally just similar with some tweaks, architecture to the existing architecture that we see on the gaming side and removes some features like overclocking but adds other features that may be beneficial to workstation environments and things like that just like the chipsets between all the different types of chipsets q b z h they all take or add things based on the market they're targeted at now xeon has been used pretty heavily in gaming systems in the past and this is especially true because xeon chips are normally a little bit cheaper than the k-skew version of what we see on the gaming side but they provide very similar performance if you don't want the overclocking or whatever features have been stripped out of that particular version of the modern xeon chip so broadwell ep silicon the things we do know for fact are that it is on a LGA 2011 V3, so that's the Extreme Series socket type. It's a larger socket, larger chip. And it's also the Xeon E5 2602 V4 that's looking at the 5.1 gigahertz rumored clock rate, which is a quad core Xeon chip. There should be eight core options out there as well, but we're not sure exactly on what those SKUs will be just yet. There's 10 megabytes of L3 cache. It supports quad channel memory as the Extreme Series CPUs tend to do. And it's looking at, again, a four to eight core shipping options depending on, on which SKU you're looking at specifically. So that is all for that quick news item. 5.1 gigahertz would be a pretty big deal for Xeon CPUs and would definitely make them viable in the gaming market if you don't necessarily want to drop a thousand bucks on another Extreme Series CPU at the top end, or if you wanted to sacrifice your overclocking ability and some of the other options on KSQ gaming CPUs in favor of perhaps, we're not sure yet, a cheaper alternative in the Xeon area with an improved architecture and faster stock clock rate. So definitely worth looking at. Xeon chips are always very interesting for this reason. They may be fairly viable solutions for gaming in the immediate future. And of course, for more information, as always, just subscribe to the channel, hit our Patreon link in the post video if you wanna help us out directly. And thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.